This is a reading from the sixth chapter of the Gospel according to St. Luke. On a Sabbath, while he was going through the grain fields, Jesus' disciples plucked and ate some heads of grain, rubbing them in their hands. But some of the Pharisees said, Why are you doing what is not lawful to do on the Sabbath? And Jesus answered, Have you not read what David did when he was hungry, he and those who were with him, how he entered the house of God and took and ate the bread of the presence, which is not lawful for any but the priests to eat, and also gave it to those with him? And Jesus said to them, The Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. On another Sabbath, when he entered the synagogue and taught, a man was there whose right hand was withered. And the scribes and the Pharisees watched him to see whether Jesus would heal on the Sabbath, so that they might find an accusation against him. But Jesus knew their thoughts, and he said to the man who had the withered hand, Come and stand here. And he rose and stood there. And Jesus said to them, I ask you, is it lawful on the Sabbath to do good or evil? To save life or destroy life? And Jesus looked around on them all and said to him, Stretch out your hand. And he did so, and his hand was restored. But they were filled with fury and discussed with one another what they might do to Jesus. In these days, Jesus went out to the mountain to pray, and all night he continued in prayer to God. And when it was day, Jesus called his disciples and chose from them twelve, whom he named apostles, Simon, whom he named Peter, and Andrew his brother, James and John, and Philip and Bartholomew, and Matthew, and Thomas, and James the son of Alphaeus, and Simon who was called the Zealot, and Judas the son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. And Jesus came down with them and stood on a level place with a great crowd of his disciples and a great multitude of people from all Judea and Jerusalem and the seacoast of Tyre and Sidon who came to hear Jesus and to be healed of their diseases. And those who were troubled with unclean spirits were cured. And all the crowd sought to touch Jesus for power came forth from him and healed them all. And Jesus lifted up his eyes on his disciples and and said, Blessed are you, poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you that hunger, for you shall be satisfied. Blessed are you who weep, for you shall laugh. Blessed are you when men hate you, and when they exclude you and revile you, and cast out your name as evil on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice in that day, and leap for joy, for behold, your reward is great in heaven. For so their fathers did to the prophets, But woe to you that are rich, for you have received your consolation. Woe to you that are full now, for you shall hunger. Woe to you that laugh now, for you shall mourn and weep. Woe to you when all men speak well of you, for so their fathers did to the false prophets. But I say to you that hear, Love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. 
Pray for those who abuse you. To him who strikes you on the cheek, offer the other also. And from him who takes away your coat, do not withhold even your shirt. Give to everyone who begs from you. And of him who takes away your goods, do not ask them again. And as you wish that men would do to you, do so to them. If you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners do the same. And if you lend to those from whom you hope to receive, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners to receive as much again. But love your enemies and do good and lend expecting nothing in return. And your reward will be great. And you will be sons of the Most High. For he is kind to the ungrateful and the selfish. Be merciful, even as your Father is merciful. Judge not, and you will not be judged. Condemn not, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over will be put into your lap. For the measure you give will be the measure you get back. Jesus also told them a parable. Can a blind man lead a blind man? Will they not both fall into a pit? A disciple is not above his teacher, but everyone when he is fully taught will be like the teacher. Why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye, but do not notice the log that is in your own eye? Or how can you say to your brother, Brother, let me take out the speck that is in your eye, when you yourself do not see the log that is in your own eye? You hypocrites, first take the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to take out the speck that is in your brother's eye. For no good tree bears bad fruit, nor again does a bad tree bear good fruit. For each tree is known by its own fruit. For figs are not gathered from thorns, nor grapes picked from a bramble bush. The good man out of the good treasure of his heart produces good. And the evil man out of his evil treasure produces evil. For out to the abundance of the heart, his mouth speaks. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not do what I tell you? Everyone who comes to me and hears my words and does them, I will show you what he is like. He is like a man building a house, who dug deep and laid the foundation upon rock. And when a flood arose, the stream broke against that house and could not shake it, because it had been well built. But he who hears and does not do them is like a man who built a house on the ground without a foundation, against which the stream broke and immediately it fell. And the ruin of that house was great. This is the Gospel of our Lord.